Okay guys, in this video we're going to be doing uh, the import of profiles into our catalog and see how we can use them. Um, the reason for this video is we don't always have all the profiles in the catalog that we wish to use. Maybe on a certain job you require a certain profile, like a Bondic profile for instance, and you might not have it in our standard catalog and there's an easy way to import it. So we'll just go through that process very quickly. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to hover over to my browser and I use H in this case and in the search I will just type in say for instance lie sacht uh, profile download now with Lysa for instance the uh, profile downloads is not the same as their main site you can see from the address there it's lysach.steelselect.com.au for Australia for instance so if we click on that it will open up the resource the CAD resource library which is here under resources CAD literature textures and so forth so um, we can also then uh, go to the literature let's just go to the well let me duplicate this um, duplicate this tab and then what we'll do is go to literature and if you look at the literature here we can go to the bond deck a structural steel deck user guide and if we open that one we can just scroll down and it will give us a picture of what this bond deck looks like and with all the specifications so you can look at the thicknesses and and all uh, you know those interesting kinds of um, data but anyway, from a, uh, a, a point of view of structural, you can see that they've got a 54 millimeter uh, overall, which is quite interesting because if you go to the user installation guide or you go to the steel decking a design and construction guide, this one for instance, and if you look at the profile, they show you, so 50, 52 this side, 51 that side, these are the different uh, thicknesses. So it's quite interesting because that will affect, um, you know, the, the side we, we are going to thicken this uh, profile in. So just get back to the CAD resource library. So for this instance, we will take, they've got the DXF files and the drawing files. So we'll just uh, download the drawing files. So if I click on that, it's going to ask me where to save. So I can say save as, and I always pick a very short, uh, uh, folder like for instance uh, my temp folder I'll just save it in there and I'll also shorten the name a little bit I'll just say Lysacht LB for Lysacht Bondek so it's just easier to bring it into Tecla save so that's all saved and now what we can do is just open the file and I use Rhino for my CAD package so that will open a copy of Rhino and uh, I just accept the defaults so that will bring out the profile with the different views but at the bottom you'll also see there's some there's some uh, layouts uh, drawings that they did but we don't need that all we need is really just the top view so the first thing we're going to look at the top view is you can see they've actually extracted a single line and they are loose components or loose elements um, the first thing we want to do is just um, strip off the dimensions and also strip off this text the second thing you want to do is you want to grab all of those and we want to join them and I always just type J and it comes up with the join so we want to join those and then uh, Rhino will tell you it's joined into one curve so that's one curve now also I found that with Lysacht it uh, you thicken to the bottom so if I type in off offset and I type a value there click on the distance and I make sure it's one for instance because that's the worst case scenario it's the thickest profile and I click on this, I can then thicken to the bottom. You can either thicken to the top or thicken to the bottom. Thicken to the bottom works well in this case. So now I've got the two polylines. And then what we can do is type in line and just connect those two lines. And once we have that, we can select them all and join them again. We will still have an open end on the other side, as you can see there. And Rhino has got this neat trick where you can say uh, close curve. So as soon as you type, it comes up with the value close curve. And then you pick the curve you want to close, right click, and then it automatically closes up. Now we know if we click on this one, we've got a closed curve. So the next thing we want to do is just move this into the origin. And now the easiest way I found in Rhino, again, I, uh, I talk Rhino because this is what I know. Uh, it, I'm sure it will be uh, similar in other CAD packages like AutoCAD, etc. But um, this is Rhino, I'm using Rhino. So what I type is a bounding box, very handy little feature. You click on the profile you want to put a bounding box around you enter and you enter again so you can see that it's now picked up the bounding box of that profile and now what we can do is we can say move this whole lot from this point 
and again if you just type zero it finds the world coordinate system zero x y and z and now we can delete the boundary box because we don't need it now we know that profile is situated in the bottom left corner exactly in the right place now all we need to do is export this so Techla can understand it. Um, just by the way, if you had to just pull in the single line in Techla, you'll probably just get a sticker broken. Techla really wants a, uh, a polyline curve, which is closed for this to work. So what we can do is you go over to File, Export with Origin. We want to export this profile and the origin we want to export again. I just tap zero to give me our zero, zero, zero coordinate. Enter. And now it's going to ask me for a name and in this case i'm going to say um, let's call it um, lysag bondek let's say bon just to have a different name and the type of file i'm going to uh, save is a drawing file and then save and it's going to ask me uh, what uh, export schema i want to use i normally just go for r12 natural because i know that works very well say so, okay so that's saved it in my temp directory as albon so now if we flick over to Tecla, oops, too far, Tecla. The way we import this is we go, first of all, I'll just show you the catalog. If we go to catalogs, we go to profile catalogs, and we hover down, for instance, to our user. You can see there's no there's no elements under user defined fixed elements. So what we can do now is we go to the file menu, we go catalogs, and we say define profiles. And in here, we can say define a cross section using a DWG file. We click on that. Tecla comes up with this uh, little dialog box. Don't pay much attention to that uh, profile. Uh, it's always like that, irrespective of what you're importing. It's just illustration that it's uh, importing profiles. So under parameters, in here, we want to go to our uh, PC. Uh, we pick the C. We want the temp directory, temp. And the L bond is what we want to, that's the one we changed that we uh, made solid. Well, not solid, we made a closed polygon. We pick that one, and then for the section name, we'll just call it LB for Lachsach Bondek, if you want, and we'll repeat the name there. And then under the profile attributes, we don't really know what type it is, so we'll just pick the question mark, and the rest can say it is. And once we say apply, and we say OK, and we then take that at the bottom, ask you to pick a position. So you pick the first position and pick the second position. It will then uh, think of it a little bit while it's importing and then once you've got that done it will import the uh, profile for us now you'll see if you just look at the grid there it's come up on zero zero oh, it's come up in the middle so if we click on the profile and the property pane pops up you'll see that the on plane setting is middle and the depth is in the middle now theoretically speaking the on plane should be if you want this to sit on should be um uh if you want this to be um on the right of the grid line you say that it's to the right and on depth you want this to be uh, in front so if we say modify you get the situation where you have the grid at the bottom left corner just like you exported it so your values then if you if you want it on the other side you obviously can just say left so you can see that it works quite well now what i'll do is control p i'll just go from the top and i'll draw a section along this grid just quickly control p to get it onto the plane and now if we take this profile and we say copy linear and we copy it from the bottom in the middle here to the top in the middle of the next plate and we say copy you can see that that really works well the um the profiles come out exactly like they should be now this will vary from fabricated to fabricated you're just gonna have to play in CAD a bit and see what works very well I've just so happened to do when I when I did this exercise for the recording I realized that Lysa um, if you copy down you know uh, when you do the offset of the polyline um, this works really well so also you will now find if you go to your catalog and you go to catalogs profile catalogs and you scroll down to user it's now got a little plus and if you do that you'll see we've got our um, Lysach Bondek in here, it's now imported so you can use it. The other thing that I just like to mention as well is that if you go to the uh, open model folder, there will now be a 
profdb.bin file present in here with this profile in it. If you had to start a new model with your Tecla, you'll have this profile absent again. If you copy this profile either into the new model you've created and restart your model, or you copy this into your firm folder wherever you keep your company, you will then have access to these newly imported profiles. There's also ways that you can export the profile catalogs by going to the profile catalog. And just once you um, right click on, on, on this profile, you'll get options here where you can add, copy, delete, and export a profile. So you can export a profile and that way you can also distribute for company uh, purposes. But just a short video to show how we bring in um, DWG profiles. Thank you.